WWE champions. They're the ones with the gold. They are the standard. They are the best. But with that comes a whole new host of challengers saying, oh yeah? Well, I got next. And here we go. <laughs> Like gravity, all it takes is a little push. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you stopped by. And if you're brand new, welcome. Grab a seat and stay a while. But do me a couple favors first. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Go next door, ring that bell. Make sure it says all so you know when the next video pops up. Hit that like button. And before you head out, drop a comment. And if you are one of the regulars here, welcome back for another round. As of you also, hit that like button. And before you leave, drop a comment. Because YouTube does love the comments. And of course, share the video out on all social media. Speaking of social media, check the links down below in the description. My Instagram and X, you can find me there. Also, check out the link to that Joker Voice merch store. Grab yourself some pretty cool stuff. Okay. Over the last couple months, we have seen new champions across all three brands of the WWE. And no surprise, with new champions comes new number one contenders for these titles. So, let's take a quick look at who I think is most likely to not only challenge, but quite possibly take the titles away from the current champions. And we're going to start with tag teams across NXT, SmackDown, and Raw. Seriously, no one cares. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. The tag team divisions on all three brands are kind of a mess right now, so we'll just bypass those. And we'll start with the mid-card titles, and we'll begin with NXT. Now, recently, we have a new women's North American champion, that being Fallon Henley. Now, despite there being the impending rematch with Kalani Jordan, I'm seeing someone else. And that would be one of the big three international free agents that they just signed recently. So I'm looking at, from the land down under, Zaria. Now, also on the men's side, we have a new North American men's champion, that being Tony D'Angelo. This one's a little tougher as there's not a lot going on with the men's um, titles at the moment. But who I do see possibly making a run at this is someone who could have his dad, who recently came back to the WWE, that being William Regal. So I think the main challenger could be leader of the No Quarter Catch Crew, Charlie Dempsey. Now we're going to shift over to the main roster and do I see Braun Breaker dropping the Intercontinental title anytime soon? Not really. At least not until WrestleMania 41, where a great WrestleMania moment would be for Sheamus to grab the one title that has eluded him for his entire Hall of Fame career. Yeah, it's a possibility. And now that takes care of Raw. Let's go over to SmackDown and the United States title currently held by the megastar L.A. Knight. Now, with a possible shifting of talent between the brands from Raw and um, SmackDown with the new Netflix deal starting in January, I see a possibility here. Someone who could really use a fresh start on another brand. And what great the, 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 this would be. And a fitting choice to go after the United States Championship, but the leader of American Made, Chad Gable. That's not bad. 
Okay, so let's jump over and look at the women's champions across all three brands of the WWE. Again, we're going to start with NXT and the longest reigning women's NXT champion, the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Now, honestly, Roxanne's time in NXT is almost up as she is due for a main roster call up. So, who takes the title and sends her on her way to bigger and better things? Well, I go back to the international free a agents, and my choice is the beautiful madness, Julia. Perfection. Now we're going to shift over to Raw and the Women's World Championship held by Liv Morgan. Now, the recent injury to Rhea Ripley has her out indefinitely, so those plans are kind of all out of whack. Now, they just crowned a new number one contender, a very credible number one contender. That makes all the sense in the world for a new champion. And that new number one contender is the genius of the sky, EO Sky. Well, you're not wrong. And now, rounding out the women's champions, we go back over to SmackDown, where we have Nia Jax. My thoughts on this have not changed. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when she drops the title to Miss Money in the Bank and SmackDown then runs on Tiffy Time, your new WWE Women's Champion, Tiffany Stratton. Duh. We're here with the big boys, the champions of NXT, SmackDown, and Raw. We're going to start again with NXT, and let's look at the two-time champion, Trick Williams. Now, he does have a challenge upcoming from Ridge Holland. Okay, come on. Let's be honest here. There's only one talent on that entire roster that fits this bill, and it's the ruler of NXT, Oba Femi. This will not be a pretty match. This will not be a technical masterpiece. It's going to be violent. It's going to be hard-hitting. In short, it's going to be a banger. It's so badass. And now we're going to go over to SmackDown and the WWE Champion, Cody Rhodes finally getting some story where it's not surrounded by the bloodline. Now, with both his friends, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton, possibly turning off on him at some time after WrestleMania 41, the one I see as the legitimate threat to take the title from the American Nightmare would be the Viper, Randy Orton. Yeah, I can see that. And finally... We've come to the top prize over on Monday Night Raw, the World Heavyweight Championship. And now, who could be the one to topple the Ring General, Gunter? Now, this past Monday, in a fatal four-way match, Damian Priest is was named the new number one contender. And this makes sense, as Damian will get his rematch he never got from SummerSlam. However, I personally, as much as I love Gun Gunther, would like to see someone take that title and finally, finally get his WrestleMania moment and be in the main event at WrestleMania. More than likely would be night one. And that is the second city saint, C.M. Punk. Yes! 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 But then again, folks... These are just my thoughts. I'm going to turn it back over to you. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Be sure to check me out on Mondays. I'll be dropping an another video. Wednesday night is overbooked. And next Thursday with Roman of the Empire. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, folks. Again, quick reminder before you head out the door. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hey, thanks for sticking around this long. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys all very soon. I hope you had a great week. Have a wonderful weekend ahead of you. And always have fun. Hashtag keep talking. And always keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Doodles.